Hey Condors, it's your boy Mr. Roberts here with a little bit of social distancing science for Friday, May 1st. Wow, new month already. Hey, before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to mash that uh, notification bell so you don't miss a single episode of Social Distancing Science. Let's see what our agenda is for today. Okay, we've got four things we're going to be doing. We've got an investigation about eclipse essentials. We're going to read about why aren't there eclipses every month. We're going to do a little 3D thinking about that question, and we're going to do um, our lesson review on eclipses, and that'll, end, that'll finish this lesson up. Let's go to the classroom. So, why aren't there eclipses every month? A solar eclipse can only happen during a new sol moon phase. Lunar eclipses can only occur during a full moon. You've occurred that each of these phases occurs every 29 and a half days. So why don't we have an eclipse every 29 and a half days? Let's find out. Ah, we've got a little video to watch. Why don't we have a solar eclipse every month? Okay, so look at this. We've got, based on this view, you would assume that there would be an eclipse every month. But if we look at it from a different angle, we see that sometimes the shadow is too high above the Earth, and sometimes the shadow is too low. To have an eclipse, it has to be just right. It's like Goldilocks and the three eclipses. So, what causes the moon's shadow to change placement? Now from the video, what must happen for a solar eclipse to occur? And our last question is, why don't we see so lunar eclipses every month? Okay, answer those questions. Pause the video, come back, we will go on to the next. We've got a little reading. as we wait for the internet. Ah, there it comes. Why aren't there eclipses every month? So lunar eclipses can only occur during a full moon phase when the moon and the sun are on opposite sides of the Earth. However, lunar eclipses do not occur during every full moon because the tilt of the moon's orbit with respect to Earth's orbit. During most full moons, the moon is slightly above or slightly below Earth's penumbra. Solar eclipses can only occur during a new moon when Earth and Sun are on opposite sides of the moon. However, solar eclipses do not occur during every new moon phase. This figure below shows why. The moon's orbit is tilted slightly compared to Earth's orbit. As a result, during most new moons, Earth is either above or below the moon's shadow. However, every so often the moon is in a line between the Sun and Earth. Then the moon's shadow passes over Earth and a solar eclipse occurs. Do a little 3D thinking about that. Man, if this coronavirus goes on much longer, I may have to get a faster internet connection. Okay, you've learned that lunar and solar eclipses do not occur every month. But scientists have been able to detect patterns in the Sun-Earth-Moon system and can predict when the next eclipse will occur. Can you locate an eclipse calendar on the Internet? After examining the calendar and locations, construct an explanation of why most people will not witness a total solar eclipse in their lifetime. And what is the next eclipse you may be able to witness? When is that eclipse going to occur? Okay, we are on to our lesson review. Can you illustrate the position of the sun, earth, and moon during a solar eclipse and during a lunar eclipse? Also, identify the correct phase that the moon is in during each eclipse.
Okay, pause. When you're done, we'll click play. Let's go on to the next review question. Okay, we're going to use this figure to answer questions two and three. What is occurring in this figure? Is it a lunar eclipse, a lunar and solar eclipse, a partial lunar eclipse, a partial solar eclipse? Um, oh, I'm sorry, there's no partial solar eclipse, or just solar eclipse. Now, why would someone in North America not be able to view this eclipse? Is that because this is a lunar eclipse and Earth casts a very small shadow? Because it's a lunar eclipse and North ex America is experiencing day? Because this is a solar eclipse and North America is experiencing night? Or because this is a solar eclipse and the moon casts a very small shadow? And we've got a real world connection here. During a lunar eclipse, Earth casts a shadow on the moon. What type of shadow would Earth cast if it were flat? What type of shadow does Earth cast on the moon during a lunar eclipse? Now, many communities rely on solar energy for daily life uses. I bet a lot of you have solar panels or your neighbors may have solar panels on their house. Suppose the moon was twice its size and cast a bigger shadow on Earth during a solar eclipse, causing the light from the sun to be blocked for days. How do you think this might affect communities who rely on solar energy? Hey, we're done for today. Have a great weekend. I will see you all on Monday.